If you landed on this video, it's probably because you're having a little bit of trouble getting on to your Pixie Set Gallery that has your photos that your photographer might have sent you. And your photographer may even be me. But even if it's not me, that's all right. I'm going to give you all the info you need to know on how to access your gallery, how to make purchases of prints, how to make purchases of digital files, as well as how to download your digital files if they were included in your particular photo package. It's not that hard. It doesn't take long. I'm going to show you how to get everything that you need. And if you have any questions, drop a comment comment down below, or if you're one of my clients, go ahead and shoot me an email and I'm going to help you out, help you get what you need. All right, let's jump on the computer. I'll show you how to do it. So if I took photos for you, maybe for your child's communion or confirmation, maybe we did a little uh, micro session photo shoot as part of one of those events, or maybe I did some family photos, whatever it might be. Once your gallery is ready, I'm going to go ahead and send you an email that looks like what we see on the screen here. And if you scroll down in this email, it's got a couple things in it. One is uh, a little message to you, of course. But the next thing that you'll see is a view photos button. And that is how you get to your gallery. You're gonna go ahead and click right on that. Below that, typically I'm gonna include the gallery password as well as the expiration date because these galleries are temporary and they're only gonna be up for a certain amount of time. So I'm gonna include that gallery uh, expiration date in there just so you know how long the gallery will be open. Now, if you're one of my clients, you can share this gallery that I sent to you with whoever you want and anybody can access it. It's not a problem. If you have a different photographer, check with them and make sure that uh, you know, you're only doing the things you're supposed to be doing with your particular gallery. So to access the gallery, you just wanna go ahead and click on view photos. Once you click on the link in the email, it's gonna bring you directly to the gallery and this is what you're gonna see. Now you need to enter your email at the top here. So your email address that I sent it to or any email address, it doesn't really matter. If you send it to somebody else, they enter their email address. And then you want to use the password that was listed in the email that I sent you. For example, looking at the email for this particular gallery, boom, right here, I'm going to copy the password. I'm going to come back to the gallery website. I'm going to paste it into the password section here. And I'm also going to put in my own email address at the top here. And that's what you would do too. Once you do that, go ahead and hit enter. Once you hit enter, you're going to be inside the gallery and you can see all of the photos that I've posted for you to view. Now, when you jump in any of the galleries, you're always going to see this little message pop up here that kind of gives you a little information about how to work around the gallery, what some of the different buttons mean. So you'll see that, read it, because it's going to help you just understand what the different things mean in case you're not sure. Now, if the gallery came from me and it's for a confirmation or a communion or an event, I may be watermarking them, as you see in these photos right here, because this gallery is free for everybody that attended the event to view. And if you want to make any purchases, you can purchase either prints or digital files, which I'll show you how to do in a second here. But you can scroll through. And if you want to make any photo bigger, you want to take a look at it. Let's just scroll down a little here. Say I pick this one right here. When you click on it, it's going to go ahead and open it up on the screen. You can see the file name sometimes, depending on how the photographer sets up the gallery. But let's say I wanted to purchase this particular photo. You've got some options here on what you can purchase, at least from my galleries here. So you come on up to buy photo in the top right hand corner right here. Go ahead and click on that. Once you click on buy photo, it's going to pop up this option with all the different things you can purchase. So for example, I've got packages set up where you can buy digital files. Some people like to have the digital file instead of having a print. That way you can go make prints wherever you want and that's perfectly fine. So you can see in here, I've got five digital files for download, 10, 20, or three. Now let's say maybe you don't want any combination of those. Maybe you just want one digital file. Well, if you only wanted one digital file, you can come over to this section right here, digital, single, photo download high resolution. And then you can go ahead and uh, go ahead and make a purchase there. You can select the option there, go ahead and add it to your cart. And now it's going to be in your cart and you can go ahead and make that purchase if you'd like. And similar with any of the digital file packages, you can click on it and you can say add to cart. And now you've got the option to go ahead and go through and pick any of the photos that you want. So you just hit select photo. We can scroll through our gallery. We can uh, pick whatever we want. Let's say I like this one. Once you pick your photo that you want, go ahead and hit next. And we can do that for all of our files that we can download. So in this case, I pick three. We've got three digital files we can select. If I want to go back, I'm just going to go back here. Let's say I want to look for a print. Well, we can come to the prints tab right here. And in here is going to be all of the available prints that are set up by your photographer. So if, as I scroll through here, you can see the different prices of our photos. You can see the different sizes. If it needs to be cropped, you're going to be able to set that crop wherever you'd like. Say, for example, I want an 8 by 10. I can come in here. I can adjust my crop however I want. Say that looks good. You can change your quantity up here if you want to order extra prints for anybody. Go ahead and click Add to Cart. And then, boom, that's going to be in your cart and you'll be good to go. 
So you've got all different kinds of prints, cards, all kinds of things here. If you are looking at my gallery, your photographer might have set up something different, but this is what my gallery looks like. And if you wanted some wall art, you've got some bigger things that you can get here. Or you also have cards. If you want to order cards, maybe for a communion or confirmation, you want thank you cards, uh, you can go ahead and select some cards there if you'd like. So just coming back to the main gallery here, once you have your items in your cart, if you look along the top of the gallery here, we have cart. You can go ahead and click on that. And that's going to bring you to your cart and show you everything that you've got in there that you wanted to purchase. Now, you might notice right here, look, I can't check out yet. And that's because I didn't select three digital files. So let's say I don't want the digital files anymore. I'm just going to remove that. Now I can proceed to checkout and then I can go ahead and check out with all my information. You can pay, make your payment options and all that kind of stuff and you'll be good to go with whatever you ordered. If you ordered prints, that is going to automatically get sent out to the lab. They're going to print it and then they're automatically going to send it right to you. So you should receive them. I forget how long it takes within a week or two, maybe, maybe three weeks. It's not that long usually for them to turn it around, but uh, maybe it'll tell you there, give you a little uh, confirmation code that'll tell you how long the prints might take but the prints will automatically be shipped to you when they're ready. So with your digital files, this is what the email is going to look like that you should receive. And notice at the bottom, it'll say digital downloads will be delivered in a separate email once they are ready. And this is going to be the email that contains the link where you can click on it and go and download whatever files that you ordered. So you just click right here, download photos. Once you do that, it's going to pop up a little window here and it's going to have your photos ready to download right here. You're going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to download the photos for you. And most of the time it's going to be in a zip file. So I'll show you how to open that up real quick. So the file's downloaded. It's right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and double click on it and it should unzip everything for you. Once you unzip it, you're going to see a folder pop up. You just go down the folders until you see your actual picture. There it is. Now I've got my picture downloaded or the pictures that you downloaded if it's multiple pictures and you should be good to go. You can pull them out of there and drag them and drop them wherever you want to put them on your computer. So that's how you would purchase either prints or digital files from a gallery that I might send you. Now, let's say maybe I sent you a gallery where the digital files are included with your particular package. For example, the micro sessions that I do for communions, you get all those digital files are yours to download and keep. If you want prints, you can order prints like I just showed you, but the downloads for the digital files are going to be free. Let me show you how that works. So in this gallery, it's going to be a little different because those digital files will be free to download. You're not going to have to pay for them, nor should you see any option to pay for them. You should be able to just download them for free. Now, let's just say, for example, I want to download this whole library, right? Or this whole gallery because it was part of your package. Well, once you get into the gallery, if the digital downloads are included in your gallery, you're going to see a download button right up here at the top right of the gallery. All you have to do is just go ahead and click on download. Now, all you have to do is put in your email address here and then hit next. And it's going to give you some options on how you can download your digital files that were included free with your gallery. So I'm going to go punch in my email address and I'll show you what that looks like. So once you put in your email address, you hit next. Here are the options. I want to download my highlights gallery, right? Which in this case is all of my photos that are there. Now I can download it to my computer, Dropbox, or Google Photos. In my case, I'm going to choose my computer and then just hit start download. It's going to take a minute to prepare your photos. And once they're ready, you'll see this window right here. Your photos are ready to download. So all I have to do is click on this zip file right here. It's going to download it to my computer. Then we can go ahead and open up that zip file. Once the file's downloaded on your computer, it's going to look a little something like this. I'm just going to go ahead and double click it and it should extract the files for you, give you a folder, and then you can go inside those folders and you'll see all of your images that you downloaded from the entire gallery right here. Then you can grab them, put them wherever you want on your computer, however you might organize your photos and you're good to go. Now, just jumping back to the gallery, maybe you don't want to download all of them at once. You can just come to one particular image and it does have the download button on there. You can go ahead and click at that download and it's going to give you the options that you see right here. You can download them again to my computer, Dropbox or Google Photos. So if I just say my computer, it's going to go ahead, download the file as a zip again, Go ahead, open that zip file and your image will be in there for you. So that's the basics of getting in the gallery, ordering prints, ordering digital files or downloading digital files that may have been included with your photo shoot. If you had a different photographer and it wasn't me, it may look a little bit different, but this should help get you going in the right direction. Now, you can also download some of the photos if you have your free digital files there that are included with your photo shoot. You can download that on your phone, too. Everybody wants to put some pictures on their phone, right? So let's jump into that. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty quick and pretty easy. So in order to get some of the images on your phone, I got my phone right here. I logged into the gallery, just as we've already discussed. You jump there right through the link in the email on your phone. You can get to the gallery. And if you want to download a particular image, I'm going to pick uh, this one with the bubble. I'm going to click on it. 
And when I'm looking at the screen here in the top right, we have the little download button. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, I already put in my email address, but if you didn't, it's going to ask you to put in your email address, and then it'll give you some options of where you want to save it. Do you want to save it to my device, Dropbox, or Google Photos? In this case, I'm going to say my device, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to get a message that says a new window with the photo will open. Press and hold the photo for option to save. So I'll go ahead and hit close. It's going to go ahead and download the file. It's going to show it on your phone. And now on your phone, you just got to push, hold, and it's going to give you the option to save photos. If you're on a iPhone and if you're on an Android, I'm not sure because I don't have an Android, but it should say something like save photos or save to device, something like that. Go ahead and click on that. And that's all you have to do. Now that photo is going to be saved onto your device. Now you can only save one photo at a time. I don't think you can do multiple at a time. So if you want a lot of these photos on your device, you probably want to download them on your computer first and then send them over to your phone, whether it's, you know, airdrop on a Mac uh, with an iPhone or text it or email it, however you might want to do it. There's a lot of different ways that you could do it. But if you got a lot of photos, probably download them to your computer be quicker than uh, going through and downloading individual photos on your phone. But if you want a few, that's how you can do it on your phone. It's pretty easy and uh, it works out pretty good. That wraps this one up. If you have any questions or you're having any trouble, drop a comment down below. Even if you're not one of my clients, I'm happy to help you out here. Love helping people on my YouTube channel here. So drop me a note if you're having trouble. We'll get you all situated. And if you are one of my clients, go ahead and shoot me an email. I'm going to get on there and help you guys out and make sure you get everything that you need. With that said, thank you so much for watching and maybe I'll see you in the next one. Peace.